Hi everyone, welcome to sketching. I hope you're having a great day. Uh, it's day 17 of my sketching challenge and today I'm going to be drawing a chocolate eclair, which I enjoyed just a few hours ago. Um, so yes, yeah, so it's going to be the same routine where I'm going to sit down and actually just block out the colour uh, to come up with the sh overall shape of the um, eclair. Uh, I'm using a the acrylic book brush from the artist set in procreate uh, just selected a kind of like a an orange a shade of orange brown to kind of mimic the uh, kind of under uh, donuty part of the um, of the eclair uh, you'll see me kind of jumping in and out of the screens and that's purely just to check that the uh, iPad Pro is actually recording the uh, video because you know in the past I've had a bit of trouble with it where I've pressed record and it's not gone ahead and recorded so I'm just gonna like you know throughout this video I'm just going to keep swiping up and down. So if you're thinking, well, what's he doing? I'm not. I'm just checking to see that this video is actually recording. So yeah, so I'm just blocking in where the chocolate part is. I might I add the best part <laughs> of this uh, chocolate eclair um, with a dark brown shade. And I'm kind of not going in too hard. I just want to kind of get the kind of values down, uh, the kind of a bit of shades, a bit of darks and lights, yeah, just to kind of, you know, uh, measure out the overall shape. Uh, and again, I'm going to keep suggesting you to do this um, uh, sketch challenge where you're sketching something every single day. It really, really will help and develop you as, a, as an artist or even get you into art if you're kind of like, you know, a bit nervous about drawing and you don't know where to start or, you know, how to do it this this kind of task just makes things so much more simple um and it, it it's quite inexpensive I mean, you don't have to do this on an ipad pro you don't have to do this on a digital tablet just get a piece of paper and a pencil and start sketching it doesn't have to have color in it just start sketching and you'll automatically start building up your confidence so what i'm doing now is adding in some texture with the ink brush with my jensinki brush um using uh the same brown that i used for the chocolate part on top and now i'm just adding in a little bit of an orange shade because on this um on the actual eclair itself it had quite a lot of texture and a lot of differing shades of brown and orange so just to kind of mimic that um i've started kind of adding in some of this detail using kind of a range of browns on oranges so now what i'm doing now is I've selected the 6B pencil and with the lighter brown I'm just using the side of the pencil to tilt function of the Apple pencil to kind of come up with circular motions to create this patterned effect because um, it's quite rough the underside of this um, eclair it's the, the kind of batter side it, it's it's quite a rough texture so I'm just trying to mimic this as an under painting uh, before I actually go in with more detail uh, and yeah it kind of works pretty nice um, it's it's quite a simple drawing this it's again it's not i'm not doing photo realism um you know where i'm looking at every single detail and i'm going to bring in every element of the image i'm just doing a basic sketch an illustration effectively and what i'm doing now is i'm just adding in uh, again with the same uh, pencil uh, with a white kind of um effect the uh, the shine the gloss shine that's coming in from the uh, light source from the top right uh and now all i'm doing is just outlining with the same pencil again with a darker brown shade just outlining the edges of the um of this uh, object to kind of really make it a lot more sharper and bring out some of that detail because sometimes it can be a bit difficult to you know work on detail so quickly especially in an object like this it, it is simple the object is simple but the details are quite fine and you've got to get the details right in order to kind of give that impression of what you know this object is and effectively it's a it's a chocolate eclair um but if if i had like a lot more time I would really really you know drill down on every single detail on this but again because this is just a sketch challenge um, I'm kind of limiting myself to maybe 30 to 40 minutes maximum on each sketch going forward from now anyway um, whereas when I started I tried doing a sketch in five minutes and that was good that was just kind of like a warm-up and I guess this next stage now for the next remaining how many other days we have left I think what is it 17 we've got another 13 days left I'm going to kind of like, you know, work on more details, spend a little bit more time. And because I'm on holidays right now from work because uh, of the Christmas period, it's the ideal time to kind of like, you know, really, really start, you know, working on something with a bit more detail every day. And I would suggest you do the same. Um, and then hopefully after um, we've completed this challenge, uh, we can review the work that we've done in 2018. Um, 
and I think it will be a great exercise and again I'll just mention again that I'm gonna give all these images that I have these photographs that I've taken and edited um, I'm gonna make them all available on my uh, upcoming website or what I might do is I might just make them available on an attachment in a video uh, in 2018 um, and make a, another uh, video for that and explain how to download them and use them as reference uh, for yourself to practice on so yeah so all I'm doing now is I'm just kind of I've just added texture with the HP pencil if you look at like where the um, the donut area is of the of the pastry area of this eclair you can see it's like it's cross hatching and a lot of kind of like stippling and dots and kind of like curvature scribbling it's, these are all different techniques to use to add detail and texture to your um, drawings um, and they work really well I mean they don't they don't work in every drawing so it all depends on your subject matter that you're actually doing so all I'm doing now is I'm just adding in more highlights uh, I think I'm using the oil brush here to just kind of add in like you know sharper white white highlights um, to give a, a decent glow um, to this um, drawing, and yeah, I was I was happy with this um, drawing. It wasn't it wasn't too bad, uh, especially in the limited time that I had. And again, I'm doing a lot of experimenting with um, these brushes in Procreate while I'm doing this challenge. So I'm not practicing anything. I'm literally just using the brushes, looking at my object, and just going ahead and recording it because the review stage is going to come next. And then what we can do is what I'll do is I'll kind of review how we could improve these drawings and like you know what other methods we can use and that will become more interesting um in 2018 so yeah so all i'm doing now is i'm just adding um some kind of uh, darks and lights with the airbrush uh to kind of really bring out the um curvature of the kind of you know the joint where the chocolate uh from the top hits the kind of pastry um and yeah so it worked pretty well and all i'm doing now is the standard uh, drop shadow using the airbrush and a gray to kind of mimic the shadow that's in the picture but to be honest with you it's it's kind of more mimicking the shadow in the drawing so sometimes your drawings aren't going to be exact like the picture unless you're really really spending time on them but yeah if it kind of you know to make it look realistic it needs to kind of follow the shape of the drawing that you've done so yeah so it works pretty nice and all I did was I lowered the opacity of that layer that I drew the shadow on to kind of really make it light and uniform and yeah so all I'm doing now is again I'm just adding in more detail with the uh, pencil um, that I've got literally just adding more and more detail to the um, texture of this um, uh, uh, of this eclair um, and, it, and it worked really well I mean I, I'm really liking this uh, yeah, this technique of having drawing sharp lines with the Apple pencil and then going over the sharp line with the tilt function so it kind of brings this kind of shading this kind of rough shading uh, and it really really highlights the areas that you're bringing uh, the, the viewers attention to and I really like that because in traditional art this is what uh, I, I tend to do uh, especially with graphite um, kind of go in sharp with um, oh sorry go in light with the sharp sharp end of the pencil and then use the side of the pencil to really really bring out the tones and the textures and values so yeah so again all I'm doing here is uh, as you can see that I'm just kind of using those squiggly motions to kind of like really really bring out the um, the texture of this and again I've got to, the only issue with the iPad is that you've got sometimes you end up pinching in zooming in right right in and then you spend so much time doing a bit of detail but you've got to kind of look back to see whether that detail works uh, so you'll see me constantly moving the um, image back and forth um, to kind of get a, a, you know a, a good overall um, effect and all I'm doing now is I'm just adding in with white the same type of effect to kind of like vary the light and dark in the texture itself uh, so yeah so I've actually used um, a lighter shade of peach to kind of add these lines on top of the uh, on the chocolate uh, strip that's on top and then all I'm doing now is with the side of the pencil um, with the darker shade adding some more darks where the chocolate meets the uh, um, the pastry um, and yeah I was quite happy with this it looked pretty nice um, to be honest with you I think I'm gonna vary every single sketch that I have so one day I might do something draw something by hand uh, one day I might just go straight into the the iPad Pro um, and then or draw by hand and then go into the iPad Pro like in my previous videos it, it's just good to vary things I've said this before that if you kind of do the same thing again and again you uh, you get so used to it and comfortable in what you're doing and it becomes your comfort zone um, but in art especially if you want to learn and 
kind of develop your technique and your skills you really do need to look at different materials and different ways of doing things it really really will kind of like you know open up your uh, mind to how how to draw and how to kind of really put things on paper and also how to see things because eventually and realistically what you're doing is you're just seeing and drawing what you see effectively unless you're drawing from imagination but your imagination drawings will automatically get better if you start using references to practice from um and that for me is is it's key but again finding the time every day to find a reference and draw i know it can be quite tedious and quite difficult and some days you might not feel like it but really really stick to this 30 day challenge and i can i'll guarantee you that you will find uh, um you know s some improvement in your work and so at the end all i did here was i just added i just changed the background color as i said in the previous video it's always nice to have a different color in the background so i just changed it to pink so i hope you enjoyed this video i hope you um learned something from it and um, please give the video a thumbs up please also subscribe to the channel and please share the channel with others so we can all learn from each other and thank you so much for your time i hope you have a great day take care of yourself and peace